You can download the worksheet directly from 3 Minute Maths following the link below. Uh, there are two more questions for you to have a go at for yourself and you'll also be able to download the answers. So question number one is representative of the sort of questions that you're going to need to deal with. In this particular case, we're looking at two ships where we've got A and B. And what we're told is there is a third ship which is on a bearing of 65 degrees from ship A. So what we would do is use our protractor to measure 65 degrees from this and then draw a line. So I'm just going to draw a little line across that. Okay, so the way bearings work is that it's always from the north clockwise. So if you can imagine if you're on ship A and you're looking across towards slightly towards your right hand side, you should be able to see ship C somewhere along the 65 degrees from north. Okay, so ship um, C can also be seen from ship B and in this particular case is a bearing of 295 degrees. So in other words, what they want us to do is to measure 295 degrees from the north all the way around. Well, the easiest way to do that is to say, well, actually, I know there's 360 degrees in a circle, so 360 take away 90, 295 is going to give me 65 degrees. So if I measure 65 degrees again from here, where those two lines cross, is actually going to be the location of C. And that would be the answer to that particular question. Okay, let's move on then to part B of the first question. So in part B of the first question, we've got, um, uh, well, we're told a little bit of information that another ship D is on a bearing of 128 degrees from ship C. Okay, so if that is the case, I'm just going to draw a very quick sketch. Here's C and here's D, which is on a bearing of 128 degrees. So this is 128 degrees. And what they're asking us to do is to work out the bearing of C from D. So in other words, a similar situation is that they want us to calculate this reflex angle. The easiest way of doing that is to use corresponding, no, yes, corresponding angles. So corresponding angles is where you've got an angle which is like an F shape. So if you can imagine, you've got this F shape along here. So this would be 128 degrees too. This would be 180 because it is a straight line. So 180 plus 128 is going to give you 208 degrees and 208 degrees is the answer to that particular question. Okay, hope it's been useful for you. Add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I look forward to seeing you inside the video.